The purpose of my research was to identify if a Move It, Move It day would be successful. The Move It, Move It day is intended to show students the benefits of staying fit and eating healthy. I had two primary research problems. The first was I needed to identify the current beliefs of elementary students about eating healthy and staying fit. And secondly, I needed to identify current practices in the elementary school. And then finally, I hoped to find a partnership that I could work with throughout this project. I had three different types of research. The first was a 20 question survey where my sample size was 42 elementary students. The second was conducting two different types of focus groups. I interviewed 10 elementary students and I also interviewed two elementary PE teachers. And finally, I needed to conduct some secondary research online. The demographics of my survey were primarily elementary students because I went to the elementary schools and handed out my survey. 72% of them were aged 5 through 12. That was also reflected in the education level where the majority of my respondents were elementary students. One of the questions that I found most insightful in my survey was how often do you exercise? 15 people responded that they exercise three to four times a week, whereas 10 people said they do not exercise on a regular basis. I also found that 90% of respondents said that they believe physical fitness is important. 83% of respondents said that physical fitness is fun, and 75% said that they are interested in having a special day devoted to physical fitness at their school. The conclusion that I can make from my survey results is that the Move It, Move It Day has potential to be a successful event for elementary students. I also conducted secondary research and what I found was that according to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, 17% of kids or 12.5 million aged 2 through 12 in the United States are now obese. According to the American Heart Association, childhood obesity is now the number one health concern among parents for their children topping drug and alcohol abuse. The American Heart Association also reported effects of being overweight and not eating healthy for teens, which include high blood pressure, type 2 diabetes, and elevated blood cholesterol. There are many psychological effects as well, such as being prone to more low self-esteem, negative body image, and depression. All of my secondary research pointed me to the conclusion that the, my purpose of my event is important and a worthwhile cause. Here is some feedback that I received from my interviews. I was given some suggestions on what to include in our Move It, Move It day, such as games and a competitive aspect. I was also given suggestions on how I can market my event, such as a virtual backpack provided by the district, a school Facebook page, and someone even mentioned creating a video to put on that Facebook page, an Instagram account, and finally connecting with the school PTAs to help communicate my message. The partnership that I found was Live Healthy Iowa. They are willing to sponsor my event and help me um, through my marketing efforts. They have a 10-week challenge that's starting in January and they think that we could incorporate my Move It, Move It day in their efforts as well. So I plan on continuing conversations with people in their marketing department. Here are some things that were said by the students during my focus group interviews. I would love to have a whole day of fun games. I think it would be fun to have loud music and dance. I want to learn more about eating healthy. I would love to see someone post healthy living tips. If they did this, I would visit the website more often. And our teachers talk about being active, but then they make us sit all day long. And here are some things that were said by the PE teachers. They thought that what we were doing was fantastic. They thought it was a great way to have kids teaching kids because the kids don't always listen to what they have to say. And finally, they also said incorporating games and competition would get the kids up and moving around where they didn't even realize the benefits. And they suggested a program called Kahoot to teach about nutrition facts. In summary, I think that my research showed that childhood obesity is a problem and it's worth my time and effort to address this issue. My research showed that students would be excited about participating in our event, and finally my research showed that I should use a variety of ways to market the event with social media and other communication avenues. Thank you very much for your time, and I can't wait to get started.